find integral square root of x square plus a square dx. We have to find the value of integral square root of x square plus a square dx. Okay, please note that this function is not in an integrable form. So, we have to make it in it into an integrable form. For that, we are going to use the substitution method that is, we are taking x equal to a tan theta. On differentiating with respect to theta, we will get dx by d theta equals a c x square theta. That is derivative of tan theta and dx equal to a c x square theta d theta. Then, now by substituting these values, here we will get that is x equal to a tan theta, then x square is a square tan square theta plus a square, then what is the value of dx? a c square theta d theta. Okay. So, why we are taking x equal to a tan theta? It is because by taking a square outside, we will get tan square theta plus 1. What is tan square theta plus 1? That is c square theta. And in this step, we can take a square c square theta outside of the square root. Then what we will get by taking a square c square theta outside a c theta. Then a c theta into c square theta will give c cube theta and a and a will give a square. So we get a square c cube theta here. Okay. Now we are taking i as c cube theta here. So what we have done so far? We take x equal to a tan theta and we get the function as a square into integral of c cube theta. So we have to find the integral of c cube theta and we are taking it as i i equal to c cube theta d theta. We are going to perform here integration by parts method that is we are taking c theta as u, c square theta as v. Now performing integration by parts we will get c theta into integral of c square theta that is tan theta minus integral of derivative of c theta that is c theta tan theta into integral of c square theta that is tan theta d theta. What is integration by part method? U that is c theta into integral of v that is here c square theta that is tan theta minus integral of derivative of u that is derivative of c theta c theta tan theta into integral of v that is tan theta d theta so this is the form of integral we obtain after performing integration by parts now in the next step we have here c theta tan square theta here. What is tan square theta? c square theta minus 1. That is c theta into c square theta minus 1 d theta. Now we will take c theta inside then we will get minus integral of c cube theta minus integral of c theta d theta. Okay. What is integral of c theta d theta? That is log mod c theta plus tan theta. Then, this is minus integral of c cube theta d theta. What is c cube theta d theta integral of? That is our i. So, we get a i here. We are taking this i to the left hand side. Then, we will get 2i equal to c theta tan theta plus log mode c theta plus tan theta plus c. Then, what is i? Half of this term. That is, this 2 will come to this side. It, that is half of sec theta tan theta plus log mod sec theta plus tan theta plus c. So this is our i. Next we have to substitute this i here in order to get the value of integral square root of x square plus a square dx. 
So here we have x square plus a square in terms of x. So we have to change theta in terms of x in order to get the final result. So what is tan theta? That is x by a. That is x equal to tan theta. Then tan theta is x by a. Then what is x square theta? That is x square by a square plus 1. That is x square theta is 1 plus tan square theta. That is x by a whole square. x square by a square plus 1. Now by taking LCM we will get x square plus a square whole divided by a square. Then what is sec theta then square root of x square plus a square whole divided by a square. Then what is x square plus a square square root of sorry what is square root of x square plus a square whole divided by a square that is root of x square plus a square whole divided by root of a square that is a. So we get a value of tan theta and sec theta in terms of x here. Next we are going to substitute it. That is what is square root of x square plus a square ds? a square into i. Then a square into i is half of sec theta tan theta plus log mode sec theta plus tan theta. That is this half will come here that is a square by 2. What is sec theta? x by a. What is tan theta? square root of x square plus a square by a that is the value of sorry what is sec theta square root of x square plus a square by a what is tan theta x by a again sec theta is x by a tan theta is square root of x square plus a square by a plus c this is our result next we have to simplify it to get further that is we are taking a square by 2 inside then we will get a square and this a square get cancel each other and we will get x by 2 in the square root of x square plus a square here. On taking a square by 2 here, we will get a square by 2 into log mod x plus square root of x square plus a square minus log a. What is this log a? That is this term is x plus square root of x square plus a square whole divided by a. We know that log a by b is log a minus log b. On applying that, we can rewrite this term as x plus square root of x square plus a square minus log a plus c. Okay. Next, in the final step, we can write x by 2 into square root of x square plus a square plus a square by 2 into log mod x plus square root of a, x square plus a square. Where is this log a? That is a square by 2 into log a will gi again gives a constant. So that constant plus another constant will give a, a constant itself. That is we rewrite a square by 2 into log a as a whole constant c. Okay. This is our final result. So what we have done so far, we put x equal to a tan theta and make it, make the function into an integrable form. Again, after getting the result, we rewrite theta in terms of x to get the final result. Okay.